Hi everyone and welcome back to Explosive Science. Any of you regular visitors to my channel will probably have seen that I've had a bit of a thing for cannons recently. So I thought I'd show you something that I built a long time ago. It's this thing. It's a see-through cannon and I made it purely to show you how a cannon works. So you can see how the powder burns inside it and what the gases do to propel that cannonball out. Now I filmed this first in slow-mo about eight years ago with a really old slow-mo camera and stupidly since I've had the Phantom, which has been about five years now, I've not filmed it with it since. So tonight I am filming with the Phantom camera so we'll get some glorious slow-mo of this cannon in action. It's made from a thick polycarbonate tube with a slightly smaller tube inside and then I've got this M8 bolt in here which I've drilled a hole in all the way through and that acts as my touch hole. It also holds the two tubes together and stops the thing from blowing apart. The powder charge I use for this is one gram of a really fine black powder and wrapped in none other than a turkey roasting bag. So I'll just weigh out one gram. Cut there and cut there. So that's my charge of black powder, just one gram. So if you remember back to last week where we fired a bowling ball out of a cannon, that used 500 grams. Well, we even went up to about 600 grams of black powder. This is just one gram. And the reason I'm using just one gram is because I'm using a polycarbonate tube. It's a plastic tube and I don't want the tube to heat up too much and I certainly don't want it to tarnish any more than it is already. So all I do is I tape this on the inside. So grab a bit of tape and tape it on the inside of this tube. And that will line up with a touch hole when it's set in place. Two sections go back together, lining up the holes, and then I screw my touch hole back in place. So that touch hole is now pressing up against that bag of black powder. All I need to do is put a bit more black powder down the touch hole, put a ball in it, and it's ready to fire. I've made this ball to perfectly fit into the cannon by wrapping a load of PVC tape around a ball. And <laughs> the perfect fit. Right, let's film it in slow-mo with the Phantom Flex and see what it looks like. Here we go, lighting the fuse. <laughs> what a bang. Let's review the Phantom footage. Right, you can see me lighting the touch hole now. There it goes. Plumes of black powder smoke coming out of there. And then, boom, it hits the charge. Look at that, you get the front of, of it's actually a front of flame as those hot expanding gases are filling up that tube, propelling that ball out. Fascinating. When I ignite the black powder in the touch hole, you can really see the chemical reaction happening here. So you can see the beads of potassium nitrate that are heating up and releasing their oxygen, causing that charcoal to burn really vigorously. And that burns all the way through that hole that then ignites the main charge and sends that ball flying. You can see how messy black powder is when it burns. It's left all of this residue on it. All of that smoke and all the crap that it's burnt out has stuck itself to that tube. So it's completely unusable. It's gonna take a bit of washing out with some water and it'll be back to pretty much how it was. You can see where some of the black powder has actually burnt the tube and you can see some, some little specks of where it's left trails of charcoal. What you can't smell here is the sulfur dioxide and all those sulfur gases. It's um, eggy. <laughs> so remember, that's just one gram of black powder that we're using. And if you want to see more black powder being used, then go back to our bowling ball cannon where we used about 500, well, in, even 600 grams of black powder. Or if you want to see more black powder being used, then the previous cannon, when we blank fired it, we used 1.25 kilos of black powder. That was a hell of a boom. But I just wanted to demonstrate here what one gram does and how it projects a ball out. It, it works really well and, and I really hope you enjoyed the slow-mo. Thanks very much for watching and remember, as of this weekend, we're gonna be selling Jörg's products. We've got crossbows and burn arrows and they're gonna be available from gogun.uk. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button now.